Right, did a little bit more work on my screen driver for the ESP boards. I've worked on starting to write um, a text uh, placer that I can place text and scale the text. Um, it's going to start on the top little uh, the top corner of the screen up here. It'll be quite small to begin with, and then it's just going to scale up the text gradually, making it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. We can get this thing into focus here. I'm going to focus. Right, ready? I'll run program. You just keep scaling him up and he scales him up bigger and bigger and bigger until it eventually takes up the whole screen. The bigger he gets, the slower it writes because there's more pixels I've got to write. And it works quite well at the moment if I don't have my font too big. Um, it's not often going to be writing a font any bigger than this. Um, at the moment, I don't, I'm being super conservative on memory. So I calculate out each pixel and then write that pixel via SPI to the um, the screen's memory, and then I calculate the next pixel and write the next pixel out. So I'm only sending one pixel at a time, which is two bytes through the SPI, um, which is a very slow way of doing things. If I calculate it all out and buffer it up and then send it in SPI in one chunk, it goes much quicker. When I was doing the image loader, that's what I had to work out was how big a chunk I could send at a time before the ESP8266 uh, run out of memory. But like I said, I'm making these for the ESP32 boards, which don't have um, uh, the limited memory problem that the uh, the 8266s have. Right, so what we might do is might have a little bit of a look at the, the software. Um, basically, it's the same program I was having before. And you can see a little bit further up here, here's the screen loader that I was using uh, to load my images. So I've just added on the bottom of that. Um, at the moment, it's got a letter A. Um, here it is placed out in binary. So each line is eight bits or one byte, and then there's eight lines. So each letter will take up a total of eight bytes. You're gonna need about 100 letters for all your lowercase, uppercase, and some symbol. So you might have 800 bytes of memory used up to store the font. And then this here is my routine I wrote to put that on the screen there. I've given the X position, the Y position I want it, and the scale that I want it. Um, at the moment, it's got my colors set, a bit of a red background and a white foreground, as you saw. I just got to set the window, which is the, the area, the memory I want to write into on the screen that's um, accompanied to the size of it's got. Um, set my um, data pins and my, and my chip select pins right. Um, and then this is the bit that does the work. So I scroll through each line, and then in each line, um, I scroll through it, the amount of times it is multiplied by the scale. Um, that's my mask, I start there, and basically I just further down, I shift the mask one, cross one. So I just come along and that allows me to pick off each bit as I go along. Here's my bits in range of eight. Um, if the mask and the line's larger than zero, then it, we're gonna read out of position one, else we're gonna read out of position zero. So here I'll just loop through this for how many times it is in the scale. Um, I'm gonna write it to the uh, SBI. I'm just going to pack whichever position the color is, which I've got up here. So whether it's position zero or position one, based upon how it's come out of that. And that goes through in the end. That's easy enough. Then here's the bit that places it on the screen there, all those different sizes. I just did from size in um, from zero to 30. Uh, so it just rotates through all the sizes from very small up to 30, which is a full screen. and just puts the text on the screen there. So fairly easy.